In the previous video we saw how to derivate the formula for the integrating factor when only depends on x. Here we are going to see uh, how, uh, how we will compute the integrating factor when only depends on y. I am not going to do completely the uh, same formula, just when we, uh, when we have the mu time, oh well, in the next step, in partial derivative of m with respect to y minus partial derivative of n with respect to x equals 1 over mu times m times partial derivative of mu in dy, sorry, minus, plus uh, n, n times partial derivative of mu in dx. If now mu only depends on y, this and uh, this, that is the partial derivative of mu with respect to dx, will be zero. And so we will have partial derivative of, mu of m with respect to dy minus partial derivative of n in dx is equal to, it would be minus m partial derivative of mu in dy times, remember that 1 divided by the by mu is the same as the derivative of natural logarithm of mu with respect to mu. So here you put derivative of natural log of mu in the mu. And so you kind of like cancel this and so you have partial derivative of m with respect to dy minus partial derivative of y with respect to x is equal to minus m times the derivative of the natural log of mu with respect to y. You leave this alone, divide everything by minus m and so you will have minus All this divided by m, and so this would be equal to natural log of mu divided in the derivative of the natural log of mu with respect to y. You integrate both sides. Again, let's call this um, g, g of y, if you wish. So integrating g of y of this is equal to um, the integral of the derivative is that same function that is mu uh, sorry that is a um, uh, natural log of, of mu natural log of mu next e to the this, that is the integral of the of all this with respect to y is equal to the this, that is mu. You know, because natural log of this is the exponent of which you need to elevate e to be equal. So, this is now our integrating factor that depends this is our integrating factor that depends only on y so first we we are going to do when we have the equation m of x y dx minus a plus n of x y dy equals zero. First we calculate the partial derivative of m with respect to y and the partial derivative of m with respect to x. If they are not the same, so it is not exact. And maybe we can find a, a integrating factor if this divided by by n depends or only contains x's or just a constant. You could say that that integrating factor will depend only on x, and so you do this divided by n, integrating that, and then e to the that, and you multiply the equation by that, and you solve for for y. 
if if this not is not only depending on x but instead only on y if you subtract this so it's time that it doesn't matter in order to see on which it depends and you divide by m and it just depends on y that is you only have um, y's or constant but not x's so that means that the integrating factor depends only on y and so you multiply you integrate that e to that, that and that you multiply everything by that if you have that partial dm in the y minus partial dm in dx divided by n or divided by m in both cases you have x's and y so you cannot you cannot find a integrating factor that depends only on one or the other. So we should look for other ways to solve that differential equation.